Good morning, Keller Williams. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer. And today we're going to be talking all about coming soon listings. Are you guys ready? Because here we go. We're just going to jump right in. Literally, all we're talking about is the coming soon status on MLS and Matrix from HAR. Some points to remember is that your listing, if it's in the coming soon status, can stay in that status for up to 14 days. You can't do 15 days, you can't do 16 days, you can't do 20 days or 30 days. It has to stay in there for 14 days or less. You can do coming soon status for one day, two days, three days, five days, 10 days, 12, up to 14, but no more. If you have a listing that's in coming soon sta status, it will automatically reclassify to withdrawn status if the listing is not made active within 14 days. So if you have your coming soon, you get through the whole 14 day period, day 15, matrix is going to auto automatically move that status to withdrawn because you haven't made it active. So then you kind of have to start over. Showings are not allowed during coming soon status. If the house is ready to show, it should be an active status. No showings allowed whatsoever during coming soon status. Coming soon listings are not displayed on HAR.com or sent to other portals. HAR.com is a consumer facing website. That is where consumers go to see homes and HAR will not display that information to the public. Now Matrix, on the other hand, if, if your listing is in coming soon status, it will be displayed to other agents, but it will not be displayed to the public. Only in Matrix. If you place a coming soon sign or otherwise market a property listed after May 1st of 2020, it must be added within one business day to Matrix as either active or coming soon. Doesn't have to be just active, doesn't have to be just coming soon, but within one business day, it needs to be added as one or the other. One business day of advertising or marketing the property. The days on market does not count or accumulate during coming soon status. It is important to note though that price changes will be shown if changed during coming soon. So if you put a price on the property and say you put it at 100,000 and oh wait, you meant to put it at 200,000, then that property once you um, change the price will and put it as active will show a price increase. Or if you did the opposite and lower the price, it will show a price decrease. So make those changes, get your price right before you put it in coming soon. Coming soon listings are available in matrix search and emails. Photos are not required, but can be added to coming soon listings. Adding a coming soon listing is just like adding a new active listing in matrix. Before you can save it as active, you will be required to choose either active or coming soon. Rentals and new construction developments with multiple properties are exempt from this policy. These are some points to remember this, all this came about because of the MLS rule changes because of the NAR clear cooperation policy. And that states um, that within one business day of marketing a property to the public, the listing broker must submit the listing to the MLS for cooperation with other MLS participants. Public marketing includes but is not limited to flyers displayed in windows, yard signs, digital marketing on public facing websites, brokerage website displays, including IDX and VOW, digital communications marketing, which are email blasts, multi brokerage listing sharing networks and applications available to the general public. Please note exclusive listing information for required property types must be filed and distributed to other MLS participants for cooperation under the clear cooperation policy. This applies to listings filed under section one and listings exempt from distribution under section 
three of the NAR model MLS rules. If it is being publicly marketed and any other situation where the listing broker is publicly marketing an exclusive listing that is required to be filed with the service and is currently available to other MLS participants. If the seller refuses to permit the listing to be disseminated by the MLS, the participant may then take the listing and such listings shall be filed with MLS but not disseminated to other participants. Filing of the listing should be accompanied by an authorization signed by the seller indicating that he does not desire the listing to be submitted to MLS using HAR Form 300, which is the seller authorization to exclude the listing from the MLS. If an exempt listing is publicly marketed as defined in Section 1.01, .01, then the listing must be submitted to the MLS for dissemination to all participants within one business day. Note, Section 1.3 does not apply to rentals or new construction developments with multiple properties. On another note, MLS participants must distribute exempt listings within one business day once the listing is public publicly marketed. See the section 1.01 .01 of Clear Cooperation. These are the sources I used. Almost everything in my uh, training today has come from web.har.com slash MLS slash MLS rules and NAR. So it's uh, www.nar.realtor slash about dash NAR slash policies slash coming dash soon dash information dash and dash resources. These are just a few of my uh, sources. And give me a second. I'll check if we have any questions. So a couple questions I received were, what if property is incoming soon and you start receiving offers right away? Well, ultimately you want to do your fiduciary duty to your seller. And I would say collect offers all you want. Um, but your safest bet is going to be to wait until your, the property that you have listed is, um, in active status before you start accepting offers because, um, Trek receives a lot of coming soon complaints and what they are going to do is, um, when they go to investigate the, the factors that are going to weigh into that investigation are if the license holder put their self interest above the interest of their client. So if they investigate and they do that um, because of an offer that was accepted in the coming soon status, then um, this could be potentially harmful to you and the brokerage and, um, you know, anybody else that's helping you with that listing. So um, I would definitely get the seller to put in writing or to document that everything was at the seller's direction and you did what the seller directed you to do. I also received another question that was, what do you suggest that we place in agent remarks to keep agent calls down while in coming soon status? I suggest you put the date that it's going to go active and uh, when showing, showings will start and how long of a notice you need for showings. And that is about all the questions um, I had on coming soon. If you have any um, other questions, you feel free to reach out to me. My um, phone number, email address, and YouTube channel is on the screen here. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know how to find me there. But you can definitely call me anytime or email me anytime or text me anytime. So let me know if you need any help. I'm here for you. Have a great day. If you want more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.